Hey guys, for today's video, I have this makeup tutorial right here. It is a, let me think of what I'm gonna call this. I think I'm gonna call it my bronzy summer glowy look. But I wanted to show you guys how to do this specifically for like more, I don't wanna say like pale, like I feel like pale has like a negative context to it even though I'm very pale right now for like fairer skin tones because I, what made me think that I wanted to do this video was I was talking to one of my clients recently who was very fair complected and I was doing her face I was doing her bronzer she wanted like the highlighted contour type of look she wanted to be very glowy very bronzed and like summertime like sunkissed type of look she was also a girl who doesn't wear a lot of makeup she like is like a CC cream a little bit of brow gel and a little bit of mascara and lip gloss kind of girl and I think one of the biggest things that I hear from not only my clients but even like my friends and family in real life who are like a little bit more on the fair complected side that want to do that beautiful glowy bronzy makeup look that we all love is that they don't know how to achieve it without being too orange or too glittery or too like bronzed so I thought like let's take advantage since I'm so pale right now <laughs> I'm like at the fairest I've ever been I know I don't look it because um, I have a setting on my ring light that I can make it a little bit warmer so I look a little more tan but even Matthew the other day was like girl you are so pale when you guys are working on that tan I thought like let's go ahead and take advantage since summer is literally right around the corner and as soon as I get out in that Sun I'm gonna be like okay give me some good old vitamin D um, so yeah I was like let me go ahead and do this video um, before summer hits and I'm out doing outdoor stuff and I get a little more tan I thought let's take advantage while I'm at my palest and let me show you guys how you can get this kind of bronzy glowy look really Charlie without being like orange you know so yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look then just go ahead and keep watching we're gonna jump in right now let's get started Okay, I don't know what that was. Let's pretend like I didn't do that. Now I'm like super embarrassed. Okay, so I really wanted to use some Makeup Geek shadows today because I haven't used them in forever. The first one I'm taking is this one right here. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. I think this is one of their like OG shadows. Like I feel like everybody and their mama used to use it back then. After kind of just comparing different palettes and different tones, I decided I wanted to go more neutral with the transitions because I don't want to go like super, super warm because I feel like it's going to be too fall-ish. And not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just not the vibe I'm going for today. This is probably the warmest shade that I'm going to use. The rest of these colors are much more on the neutral side. So I'm going to take my E40, my favorite blending brush, and we're going to start by blending this into the crease. And you can see in this one how there's kind of that gradient. Um, I'm going for that gradient look, but I'm not gonna go too heavy handed with the transitions because I really want the lid color to stand out. I'm going in with this next. This is the shade Latte. And if you look at the difference between the two, you can see this one obviously has more of a warmer undertone. This one is a little bit more neutral. So we're gonna go in with this to kind of balance things out. So we go in with a warm transition. We're gonna take it down a notch with the next crease color, which is more of a neutral tone. I'm taking my Morphe R38. So I'm gonna take this just a little bit lower like this. I don't want it to be too warm in the crease, but I also don't wanna cover up that first color too much because I want to be able to see that gradient, so. Just do like a little wash, nothing too crazy. That's actually it. It's like really that easy. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is the shade Mocha. And typically I would go in with like a really, really warm dark brown, but this is perfect because it's a little bit more on the neutral side. This is an E25 from Sigma. And again, not going too um, heavy because I wanna be able to see the other colors. And I also don't want it to be like super, super, super smoky. I really want it to be just like more like effortless bronze. Um, but I also still want to see the gradient, but we don't want to be too structured, you know? Kind of like open my eye like this so I can see where it's going to go, like right in the fold. And then I'll kind of look down, make sure that nothing is too unblended. Kind of look straight into my mirror and then I open my eye and I blend again. I know there's like a... There's a method to the madness, I swear. <laughs> Especially because I have a little bit of that hooded lid. I wanna make sure that when my eyes open like this that I can still see the color and not only when I'm going like this or when I look down. So I look straight like this. I make sure that that color is still peeking out. I'm gonna go back in and reinforce the other two colors. Take Latte, the second transition that I used, 
and I'm just gonna do a quick little wash right here because again I don't really want it to be super dark I'm not necessarily going for smoky I'm going more for bronzy and effortless creme brulee the first shade that we used I'm just gonna pop this right here honestly like these little steps really do make a difference the star of the show we're going in with this from NYX this is the glitter goals liquid shadow in the shade multiverse this is so beautiful it's like the perfect bronze shade I saw this in Ulta and I swatched it and I was like oh baby you're coming home with me <laughs> so this has like little silver flecks in it kind of like the one in we out that I always talk about but do you see how it's like that perfect bronze but it's also like shiny at the same time from the little glitter flecks this is like a bit streaky if I'm being 100% honest you can uh, build it so we're gonna lay the first initial layer down I'm gonna go straight from the applicator these are so 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 easy to use I'm gonna kind of tap out that line. I'm just not a cut crease girl. If you're a cut crease person, you do you, baby. But I just don't like them on me. I'm not really, I don't really like them on. I mean, some people they look really good on, but for me, I'm just like, yeah, it's just not my style. So I'm just gonna tap out this line so it's kind of just blending up. And then I took off a little bit of the um, pigmentation. So I'm gonna go back in, but I'm gonna really scrape off. Um, a lot of it on the top because I don't want it to be too heavy of an application. These come out very generously. I'm just gonna go back in and do a little bit more. Excuse me, I'm busy. All right, I turned off my ring light. I want you guys to see like the actual sparkles. Is that even doing anything? Is it? I don't know. I can't really see with one eye open. <laughs> so beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit of black shadow and I'm just gonna stamp this with my flat definer brush. I'm gonna pop on my lashes real quick and prime my face. I'm gonna be using the Flutter lashes today. These are in the style Intoxicating. These are like the perfect like bronzy lash. I feel like they're thick and full and dramatic and that's what we want. So I'm gonna do that off camera. I'll be right back and then we'll do the face together. All right, I had to put on a robe. I got really cold. But then if I turn off the AC, it's gonna be too hot. Such a first world problem. I took a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I use this just in my T-zone because I'm oily there. And then I use this on the rest of my face. This is the Cover, F Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This is discontinued, but I'm, I have it, so I'm gonna use it. But um, the Becca Backlight Primer is really great. Laura Mercier Radiance Primer is beautiful. The uh, Smashbox Radiance, and then I believe Physicians Formula has a Radiance Primer. I've never tried it, but I believe they have one too. Um, so any Radiance Primer, I feel like you wanna go in, especially for like a glow glowy type of summer look like this like I want the skin to be very like glowy and healthy looking an illuminating primer is definitely gonna help your face be a little more illuminating for me I'm really oily so I just keep it on this part of my face so that way all of this where my skin is more normal is still very healthy looking underneath foundation but then in the center I go in with something a little more pore filling let's go in with foundation and my concoction of choice right now is this from L'Oreal this is the fresh wear foundation I do like half a pump of that I'm in the shade 425 and then I have been loving to mix this Maybelline dewy and smooth this is the shade 120 Eight. And the Maybelline's a little bit darker. I actually prefer to go a little darker with my foundation because when I go in and highlight and everything, um, it evens everything out. So I like to go like half a shade darker um, because I go in with concealer and everything like that. So I'm just gonna mix these two together. I just do like a dibble. That's not, that's not a word. <laughs> like a tiny, tiny drop on the back of my hand. I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto the face. My skin's breaking out. So I'm like <laughs> ready to cover this mess up. I think something that I hear a lot, especially from um, my clients when I ask them, you know, do you wear makeup? What do you do? What are you comfortable wearing when I'm doing a consultation with them? A lot of the things that I hear from girls that I work with is that they're scared to use bronzer because they feel like it'll make them too orangey or they don't know how to use it or they want to be really bronzy and glowy but they don't know how. Probably the thing that I hear the most is, you know, they don't know like how to highlight and contour, they're scared to go in too heavy with bronzer, especially from a lot of the girls that I do that are more fair complected. So I really wanted to focus this on like how you can bronze and be glowy and like have that beautiful sun kiss look while still being really fair. We can do it all people it is possible this next part's nothing new I'm still gonna go in with shape tape and I'm gonna be using the same colors that I always do I like to go in with light medium honey because this is a little bit more of like a peachy 
orangish undertone on me. Since I have dark circles, that's gonna help counteract my dark circles. It's also gonna add a little bit of uh, brightness by counteracting these purple, ugly tones that I have underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna go in with light sand, which is more like my highlight shade. So this is gonna help like make everything bright and bring it forward. I just love mixing and matching products. I just feel like I just get the best finish when I mix different colors, whether it be foundation, concealer. I know it can be a little excessive, but honestly, I just find that that works so much better for me than when I just go in with one shade or one tone. Take it around the nose, because I always have a little bit of redness right here, and then I'll drag it out like this so everything's nice and highlighted. I don't like to highlight my face because I feel like it's just a little too heavy for me personally, but I will take whatever's left over and just dab it just to even things out. So I'm not just all bright under here and not on the rest of my face, but that's really all I do. I just use the, um, leftover product. Oh shit, I forgot all my brushes. Hold please. I'm gonna go in with my Essence Banana Powder. I just like to go in with a little bit just to kind of like initially lay down. I feel like if I skip this step, my eyes look too dull. So I like to set first, um, but I also have to bake because I'm so creasy underneath my eyes. So that's why I kind of just like to go in with thin little layers. If you guys haven't noticed, um, my thing is not like really heavy makeup. I like thin layers of a lot of products. I like my skin to look like skin. I like things to be a little bit more lightweight. I just don't really like the full heavy, you know, cake face. And I know some people like that and that's fine, but I just feel like my skin looks better when it's a little bit lighter. I mean, it's still full coverage, it's still a lot of makeup, but I just like to go in with really thin layers. Okay, so let's set the face. I'm taking this from Wet n Wild. It's the Loose Translucent Powder. I feel like a lot of these products you'll notice were in my um, recent favorites video, and I'm using them because they're my favorites. I'm so excited to show you guys them in action. Okay, so that's good, just like that. And then before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. This is what I've been using to bake my concealer. I love this underneath my eyes as of lately. It's a translucent powder, but it has like a sheer tint to it. Like it's almost no color, but just like the tiniest bit of color. I've mentioned in my favorites that this powder is not matte. It does not last on me, at least in my T-zone, unless I bake this area. So I am gonna bake along this side of my nose very, very lightly because again, I don't like my face to feel very heavy. Um, so I'm just gonna go in very, oh, that's too much. We're gonna go in really lightly and this is really gonna help make sure that um, this stays in place. And I also love this powder, do my smile lines because I have smile lines now. I also love this powder because it is so natural looking. Um, it just never feels heavy to me and it, it doesn't settle. So I feel like even though I'm oily and it, it's not really like a matte powder, I can make it work when I bake. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my new favorite. This is the Catrice Sun Lover uh, Glow Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade Sun Kissed Bronze. This is the bomb. Let me show you a swatch. I, I already talked about this in my favorites, which I'll put up here if you guys wanna check it out. But, um, Oh, it's so beautiful. This reminds me so much of like hourglass bronzers. I like to go in with a shimmery bronzer first and then I'll contour with something more matte in the hollows of my face. But I love this because it's so wearable. It's not orangey. It almost has like a cool tone to it. It almost looks a little bit like ashiness in it. Like just a pinch, like you can barely see it. You have to really see it in person to know what I'm talking about. Because it's not too warm and it doesn't have too much orange in it, I feel like people who have a little bit more of a fairer skin tone where they're nervous that bronzers are gonna pull orange and they wanna do that very glowy type of bronzy goddess look, this bronzer would be really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take this to contour this I have sitting right next to me. Go with whatever contour you wanna go with. You don't even have to do contour if you don't want to. I feel like this looks very pretty just like this, but I just need to slim my cheeks just a little because I've been eating a lot. So I'm gonna take the contour shade in this uh, Cover FX palette, and I'm actually not gonna do really too much. I'm just gonna do like a, like a kiss. Just right there, just to add like a little bit of, um, just a little bit of a shadow. I don't, I don't really want anything too much. When I do like this type of bronzy, glowy look, I really just like to look bronze. I don't like to look too sculpted, but I need a little something because my, my cheeks are a little chubby right now. <laughs> I'm going to dust this away. I don't want it to sit on my face for too long because I don't want to be too 
heavy in my t-zone and then I'm just gonna take that same wet and wild powder I'm gonna go in with my sponge and I'm gonna do just a light carve because it's it's a little messy I went a little crazy so let's do just a little light something Let's go ahead and do the lower lash line while I kind of let this sit on my face. And I want the lower lash line to be, mm, I don't want it to be super smoky, but I want it to be more than just like my usual, which usually I just take a color and just kind of run it on the lower lash. I want it to be a little more than that. I'm gonna actually take my E25 and I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is the shade Latte. It was the second crease color that we used. Usually I use the Morphe one. Um, you guys see me use it in all my tutorials. It's the E. 17. I think it's a little bit more precise, but I kind of want this to be just a little smudgier today. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of a fluffier brush. I'm just going to fluff this and then I like to connect it to this outer part here. I feel like it kind of brings everything together. I'm also going to take uh, Mocha, which is the darker brown we used in the crease. And I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm just going to press this because I want it to be just a little more defined. I don't want it to look like too to put together. I'm going for like that pretty, like I just use my finger to apply this type of look. <laughs> just run these two together to blend them together. So I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm going to take MAC Nylon and normally I would go in with my little detailed brush, but because again I want this to be kind of like almost messy but like a controlled mess, I'm just going to go ahead and take my pinky and just kind of hit it under the arch of the brow. This is MAC Nylon. Did I say that? I can't remember if I said that. But I want it to just be like very like effortless, you know? Nothing too crazy, nothing too precise. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my finger for the inner corner. Also, MAC Nylon is very, very intense. And usually when I go in with my little detailed brush, um, it's like, bam, pigment. But I'm not really going for that today. I just, I do still need to add a little bit of brightness. Like I don't want my inner corner to be dark but just like a kiss of brightness. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this from Note Cosmetics. This is so beautiful. It's like very intimidating in the pan. I know I've showed you guys this before. This is the Terracotta Blusher in the shade Sugar Scent. So it really does just look like straight up bronzer, but I promise you um, when you get it on your face, it looks so much more wearable. So this is like the perfect blush that I always go for since I got it at least when I'm doing like this type of like bronzy glowy look. So we're gonna go in with this on the cheeks. I mean, honestly, it really is just like a really pretty terracotta shade. It's just so beautiful. Let's kind of blend that in to my bronzer, but I feel like this just looks so pretty. Oh, I love this blush. I feel like it's just such a pretty, like, complimentary color. You want to go for like a little bit more of a bronzy look. This does it without being, again, too orangey or too um, bronzy, where if you're like kind of scared it's going to be too orange, I feel like this blush is just perfect. The color is perfect. And then for a highlight, I'm going to take my new favorite, which is the Artist Couture. This is the shade Summer Haze. And again, something I talked about in my recent favorites. In that favorites video, I did mention this. It almost looks like it's going to be too dark to be a highlight, but when you get it on your face, it is absolutely exceptional. So I like to apply loose highlighters with this Anastasia brush. Just feel like it applies so perfectly but let me show you guys here let me get a little bit closer just want to show you guys how truly beautiful this is this is like the absolute perfect summer highlight now of course you can go in with whichever one you want if you're more into like an icy highlight something a little bit lighter or a little bit more gold a little more champagne but i just love this highlight and i can't stop using it i think because it has that peachy-ish undertone it just like looks so pretty with like a like this type of bronzy look you know it all ties in together with the colors look at my chin it just looks so greasy and satisfying i love a greasy looking chin just do a little bit down my nose oh i love it love it love it love it let me fix my baby hairs they're like really just trying to steal my shine good stuff i'd appreciate it i'm gonna use my mario spray you guys know i'm not into setting sprays i don't believe in them tried them they're not worth the hype for me 
I just like a facial spray. The rose water is my favorite because it just brings everything together. I need more. That like wasn't enough. <laughs> it's gonna help everything melt together, make your skin look like skin, and that's what we want. For lips, I'm gonna be going in with a nude because that's my favorite and that's what I use. This is the combo that I was wearing in my last video. Um, it's the NYX Cold Brew and then the Fenty Gloss, but I'm gonna go in with a liquid lip so it lasts a little bit longer. Usually I don't like go with just a gloss. I like to layer things. Um, so I'm gonna do that today. So this is NYX Cold Brew and I do this mainly on the outer part of my lips. I like to kind of make my cupid's bow a little bit more straight. I like to kind of just overline right here. I haven't used this in a hot minute. This is actually one of my favorite liquid lips. I just always forget about it for some reason. This is Anastasia Stripped. It's like a very um, light, pinkyish type of nude. So I'm just gonna be real messy laying it down. I'm just kind of tap it in because I don't want to lose the definition from the lip liner. Well, I'm gonna take Fenty Beauty. Oh, bitch. If that is not a summer gloss, I don't know what is. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you recreate this or if you like this look or if you want to see any other type of look, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, I kind of wanted to do something like for like my more fair skin people because I'm telling you, I hear so many times from so many of my clients or just people in my real life, even my friends who are like, I'm so fair, I don't know how to use bronzer. I don't know how to do like that beautiful glowy like goddess Kim Kardashian Victoria's Secret model look without it being too much or without it being too orange. So this is how you do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!